Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you a build in under 5 minutes. Now this is going to be my brand new series where I show you the builds within 5 minutes and you guys can copy these super easily. You don't have to sit through a long video watching a build. This is going to literally just bang these videos out so you guys can get the best builds in the game super quickly. So leave a like, subscribe if you are new and with that said, let's jump straight into it. Massive shout out to Blazing Boost for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are struggling to get anything Destiny 2 related, this is the place to be. Now a lot of sites offer recovs, however these actually offer a Sherpa service which will not get your account banned. Not only that, they do have a trust pilot with over 31,000 5 star reviews. And if you guys do also use Unstoppable 7 at checkout, you will in fact get a 7% discount. I'll leave a link in the description and don't forget to use the code at checkout. So starting off with the build, what we're going to need is Dome Blade with Well of Radiance. For our abilities, we are using Empowering Rift. Make sure you guys do have this on. Then Burst Glide, Incinerator Snap, Fusion Grenade, Touch of Flame, Icarus Dash, Ember of Searing, Ember of Resolve, Ember of Mercy, and Ember of Tortures. Now basically all these items synergize to the build today, so for our empowering rift, as soon as we pop this, any sort of damage we do in our rift or our well, we'll be getting our grenade energy back, and if we guys do use your grenades in your sort of well, or your rift, you'll be getting your rift back, so it's sort of infinite grenade well build, really good. Weapon wise for today's build, it really doesn't matter, honestly any weapon is good, an incandescent weapon does help the build also. Stats wise, I would say we're pretty much going to want to have at least 8 resilience, high recovery and to be honest, anything else is just a bonus. Just try and get a decent sort of resilience recovery if you guys can and a decent discipline if you guys can get them triple 100s. But I'm not a warlock main so my stats are a little bit bad here. Now moving on to the mods that makes the armor really good. Or the build, sorry, is recovery mod, ashes to assets, gaining bonus super energy on grenade kills, harmonic siphon, rapid solar weapon final blows, creates an orb of power, and powerful friends. Then moving on to the arms, what we do have is a resilience mod, impact induction, causes damage, with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown, and then we do have focusing strike, grants class of elite energy when you use damage with a melee. Now moving on to the exotic, which makes the build super good, is this right here, Starfire Protocol, Fusion Grenades have an additional charge and recharge from Empowered Weapon Damage, Fusion Grenade kills Grant Rift Energy, so basically all you need to do is pop your Rift or your Well, use your grenades, spam them as fast as you can, get as many kills with your weapons in your Rift and obviously your Well, and you'll be regenerating it back super quickly, and trust me, it's absolutely insane. Now what we are running on this is a discipline mod with arc resistance, solar resistance and void resistance just for that extra sort of resilience against certain enemies. Moving on to the leg armor, we do have a discipline mod, solar weapon surge, your solar weapons gain a small bonus to damage while you have armor charge. So make sure you guys do put, like I said, an incandescent weapon on will help or a solar weapon does really help as well. But to be honest, you don't really need this. This is just a bonus thing I've put on the build. If you guys do need to use a solar weapon, you can put it on and do even more damage for the higher end activities. Now for the Warlock Bond, we do have a Bomber, a Reaper. After using your class ability, your next weapon final blow spawns an orb, and then it does say your decaying armor charge has a longer duration with time dilation. Now overall, this build is absolutely insane for survivability and even DPS. Probably one of my favorites in the game at the minute. Now that pretty much wraps up the build. I'll leave some quick gameplay in under 5 minutes guys, but remember this is a new series, I'll leave a dim link down in the description as well, so you guys can just copy it, super easy, let me know if you prefer this style of video, where I sort of show the build off really quickly, and try and save you guys as much time as possible, but with that said, I'll leave you the gameplay, and I will catch you in the next one.